Good morning. It's Friday, the 19th of May, 2023, and we're in Glen Shiel. In the process of walking into the youth hostel in Glen Affric, with a plan to do a few of my rows to the north. So a good forecast today. So we'll see how it goes. Nice morning at this end of the glen, a bit laggy down by the water. The path runs north from Glen Shield into Glen Affric and brings you up in, in between some Monroes. You see Kish Dew there just to the left. It's looking well this morning. We're up at the watershed now. About 220 metres height coming in there. It's a great area for the deer in here. Quite a lot there right now. That's looking south back up the track and our route back out again because we'll come back this way. That's looking at the, the back of the, the sisters up in here. This is the coal at Benato and Glass Bin. And we're just curving round here to the, the youth hostel. That's the use of stop we're looking at now. And we're heading up to the left. Up to the low point. See the bridge there if the, the river's wild, just come down to that. This is about 11 kilometres in, so time for a wee cup of tea. That's uh, come down through here and up from there. Not far from the coal now. You see Ansoka to the right here. That's us just getting up to the coal. There's a vast area. So our highest Monroe is to the left here, on the background. And the shoulder running out is the outlier that we're going to go out to. That's the last rise to Ansoka. That's our first Monroe. Four hours, we're on the go. We're just over 14 kilometres. This is the rest of the Africa Hills. You see the one in the middle there with the, the big cairn. That's the cairn that we're actually inside. That was the first one of our five. The one in the middle was the outlier that we out, came back in again. That'd be Loch, Loch Malardoch down the bottom there. With the two Monroes, two first Monroes we did the other day. With the peak in the, the middle there, that's the highest one of our three. That we're considering cutting across the quarry and going down the outlier first. Just going to head back down to the packs. Just left them at the coal. That's the good. 
It's really you cut into the quarry just to cut the the second one row out so you can go across and do the outlier first. I was just heading for this locking that's here. That's right underneath the mineral. And we're just making up for here. So not not too bad a shortcut at all. Just had a wee bit of lunch, so all ready to go again. We'll be able to get this outlier without having the packs on. Because we'll just leave them until we come back in to get the third mineral. That's his left of packs. This is shoulder will go up once we come back from the outlier. And that will be our third mineral. I was looking into the small locking that we cut down into. That's oh, just about here. About 1.5 kilometres. You can see the mineral now. Out on the end of this shoulder. And a better look at the African minerals. And then round to our first mineral. And so off. And obviously the Glen Shield Hills are not all in the background. Looking west, a wee bit hazy. So we get down here before we find our eyes onto the mineral. That's mineral number two. That's one of the remotest minerals in Scotland. North to the Mullardock Hills. Just retracing the steps. Back into the packs, and then we'll head up our last mineral. That's just got the packs again, so we'll just get up this last mineral for today.
once we've done the mineral we'll come down this left shoulder the east shoulder as if you're making for the youth hostel and it'll end up going down in between these two bumps we'll head south and that takes you down a shoulder which just cuts a wee bit off the corner saves us a wee bit distance Put past those are out, good stuff Oh, that's a big hill this Well done now ah, Well done, good effort Right in the middle there that's a locking glen shield, and that's where the car's parked But I'll not think about that now It's looking west, coming round to the north and Just Starting the process of getting back. So, I say we're planning to go down this shoulder here to cut the corner in terms of getting up the glen a bit quicker. I'm just going to leave the ridge now, head south. That's looking east from the youth hostel and we're just heading down to the river here and straight through the V in the background and the last one row there just grabbing a bit of cloud <coughs> forecast is, isn't as good tomorrow I don't think and that's the end just about in sight here not much further now Well, that was a great day, a big day. 37 and a half kilometres, 11 hours 45 minutes, and we're 2,050 metres of ascent. It's a big day, but really good. Many thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.